I haven't had a chance to film hardly anything at all. The stuff I've been uploading the last couple days is like backlog uh, video footage from like the beginning of May. Uh, it's just been so busy. Um, but this is what the place looks like now. Uh, it's always deceiving with greenhouses. Um, it's always deceiving, but you know, because like you know, when we start the greenhouse, we we know the rule of you know this tray can overhang the table by one and a half uh, inserts, and it can overhang this way by one insert. You know, and so we've got every single tray in the greenhouse overhanging like this, <clears throat> all the way down every table, which means that every gap. Uh, is closed. This tray is brought all the way in here, and this tray is brought all the way here. You know, and so it's deceiving because we have the place so insanely, impossibly full at the start of the season. Like every hanging basket is hung rim to rim. This basket would be brought all the way over here and hung rim to rim, rim to rim, rim to rim. You know, and so everywhere where there's like a gap in between the baskets now, any op any time that there's a gap in the baskets, that means that there was a basket there that sold. Um, Kind of like these guys down here. These guys are still rim to rim. That means that, like, in in those three or four baskets, uh, none of them have sold yet. So, anyway, what I'm trying to get at is uh, is that it's deceiving when you look at the greenhouse now, because you're like, all you see is a wave of plants, and you're like, holy shit, nothing sold. There's a lot of stuff. But the reality is, you know, in in our eyes, this place is empty. All this table space um, everywhere where there's gaps, like even here, like. This is all a gap, like this is a gap, that's a gap, and that's a gap, which means that there'd be another tree right here. Um, so we've already started restocking. Uh, our third crop has started coming in. Uh, we've got a third crop of cucumbers. We did a third crop, or sorry, cucumbers. <laughs> a third crop of peppers. Um, a third crop of cucumbers back here. Um, our tomato shelf is thinning out quite a bit. Um, third crop of begonias as well. Um, also, did you guys know this? Did you guys know that begonias have edible flower petals? These petals, a customer was in the other day, and, uh, ah, dang it. Um, a customer was in the other day and showed us that you can eat these begonia petals. Ugh. It tastes like a plum. Literally, begonia petals taste like plum. So anyway, why we're here? We're here, it's super early. Um, I, Savannah woke me up at uh, 5.45 this morning. And uh, I got here to the greenhouse at seven o'clock. Our goal is to water the crap out of the place. Um, we got the three girls running the place today. Uh, Jamie, Andrea, and Tanya are running the place. And Lorraine and I are going on a greenhouse tour. Um, I have or organized a bus and a driver and I sold tickets on our website, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna leave the greenhouse and tour all the way down to High Prairie and Drewville and hit greenhouses along the way, and then come back here. So we got a bunch of plant fanatics. We're all gonna pile on the bus. Um, so in order to do cool stuff like that, Lorraine and I have to do our work, and we have to get this place watered so that our staff um, and the ladies the ladies that we work with don't have to be super stressed about getting the place watered. They can just focus on helping customers, bringing customers through the till. And they don't need to stress about the plants, whether they're healthy or not. That's our job. So, uh, let's do it. Let's start watering. Giant marriage. Wow. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> okay, so we are uh, at our first stop. You guys are probably familiar with this place. Because we have Jamie. <laughs> if only the camera would pick up the size she just gave me. But uh, yeah, so for the bus tour, everybody's in there right now. We got about, uh, yeah, it's like about 20 people or so. So not the turnout I had hoped for, um, but at least some people showed up. Um, but yeah, we got uh, we got like a whole bunch of tropicals. We got some, look at these beautiful succulent sedum frames. Um, succulent wine bottles. Some bonsais. Um, but then like lots of houseplants too, like money trees and canna lilies, miniature evergreens, um, split leaf philodendrons. And check out this, oh, and look at these mother-in-law tongues. And then also, um, I've got a three and a half foot tall fiddle leaf fig. So we got these guys too. And uh, you don't see them at three and a half feet tall very often. Like two foot tall, um, I've got those in twice, but three and a half feet, that's, uh, that's a tall plant. I guess there's a lot of things that I haven't shown you guys. Um, 
that have arrived. Like I've been doing a lot of live streams for them on Facebook, but I haven't got a chance to show you guys uh, on our YouTube channel. That's because things are hectic. But uh, it's kind of cool. It's exciting that we're get to do the tour and everyone is uh, poking around. And um, Bruce Fenton, the Fenton Greenhouses, uh, they're our next stop. So uh, I'll show you guys that when we get there. But check it out. Before, uh, I made sure that we stocked up big time before this weekend. So we have like 1,500 succulents. So we have like 1,500 succulents and then a whole bunch of tropicals that we got in. But um, check out this table of succulents. 1,500 of them. <laughs> I really didn't want to be showed up when I got to another greenhouse. <laughs> I was like, a bunch of people are coming and, we're, and I'm taking you to other greenhouses. <laughs> better have lots of stuff. Yeah, better like really load up, otherwise I'm going to look yeah. like a wuss. <laughs> yeah, wuss gardener of the north. <laughs> <laughs> we have the best succulent selection. Then we go like do a greenhouse tour and everyone's got better succulents than we do. Not going to happen. <laughs> As it happens. <laughs> Alright, that's it for Brady Gardens. We're on our way to Fenton's. Everyone's uh, in the front store there. I see quite a few tropicals and some succulents going out and there's one lady that had never been here before and she was buying a whole bunch of flowers so that was pretty cool. Um, when you put stuff like this on you kind of expect that everyone's already been here but uh, thanks Breakheat Gardens for having us. <laughs> Alright we made it we're here at Bruce Fenton's greenhouse. There's the man right here and uh, he's given us a special 15% off discount just for everybody on the bus so that's pretty cool. So uh, we're here to check the place out, 15% off just for us. So I'm excited to see his stuff this year. And here's the man himself. Some really beautiful uh, planters out front here. Look at this, they're doing the Canada Day. They're doing white and red for the Canada Day. That's the big, uh, that's what everyone's into this year is the red and white. It's Canada's 150th anniversary this year. So uh, lots of Canadian flags, lots of red and white. Beautiful stuff. And uh, earlier on the bus, when I was asking, uh, when I was asking how many people had been here before, or how many people I asked how many people hadn't been here before, and out of like the 20 people, like 16 people raised their hands. So a lot of new people checking the place out. Look at this place, just beautiful. Look at this hanging basket. Can you believe that? It's just about June, and this thing is already like. Already massive. Bruce, when did you start these baskets? When did you start these baskets, Bruce? Monsters. Very, very nice. Oh, man. And uh, their baskets are $37 as well, so they got a good price. These Lobelia baskets are something else, though. That's gorgeous. They also got wall hangers and everything. Very beautiful. Okay, so here we are at Christie's and like, um, we're both like super into social media and super, super into advertising. Um, but when it comes to like, I'm like, you want to be in a video? She's like, yeah, I do. And I'm like, what are we going to talk about? She goes, I don't know. <laughs> so I think like both of us are a little bit like uncomfortable because we're like, we don't know what to do in a video together. But at the same time, we're just super excited to be together. Um, so I'm going to get her on camera when she's uh, done helping somebody. Um, but check this place out. They've got, uh, they've got white poly on the roof, so it's a little bit um, like frosted, preventing the sunlight from coming in. It also vents along the top. And then she's got 30% shade cloth in here. Um, and they got the whole place on drip line. Um, pretty cool. She's got a tree lot outside. Nice little retail area in here. Um, and then they got their, their greenhouses off the, that shoot off the side here. Um, but we're like, we're on our way out. Christy and I just got carried away chatting in the back because uh, her and I see eye to eye on a lot of greenhouse topics like in terms of social media like this um, but also in terms of like how to grow your plants and like the most ethical way to do things um, but really super cool to meet her so uh, when she's not super tied down we'll we'll try and get her on camera here okay so check out these check out the size of these snake plants look at the size of this guy that's a 14 inch so this is Christy and uh, so Hello. she so you own this with your husband right yes yeah, yeah. so the two of them own it together what's yeah. his name uh, Tanner 
Oh, Tanner. Yeah, Tanner Pollock. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So Christy and Tanner, they own this place. It's just outside of High Prairie. Um, so if you ever get a chance, um, I don't know, do you guys stock tropicals all the time? We do. Yeah. All year long. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so they're open year round. Yeah. Doing tropicals, doing um, like veggies and such. And I saw you guys have cucumbers up here. Yeah. So are you guys, uh, are you guys like doing produce as well? Well, we're experimenting. Let's put it oh, that yeah. way. We're okay. experimenting with growing a few things over the off season, and we do lots of Christmas stuff too. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. Because I was yeah. thinking about doing like uh, doing cucumbers and, and stuff. Yeah, and it's on drift line. So you have to think yeah. about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if you go away for a week, yeah. if you go away for a week in yeah. like off season. Yeah. yeah exactly. Cool. Yeah, like Dunn Vegan, I think, um, Dunn Vegan was doing, like, produce, like, they were doing tomatoes and cucumbers, um, what else were they doing, zucchinis and stuff, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I think they had success, but, like, awesome. I mean, if it's a little thing to extra carry you through yeah. the year. Yeah, well, that's the thing, we're trying to find something to do in our off-season, so what can we do and use our facilities? We want to use these buildings all the time. Yeah, so, yeah like, if you put this yeah. much money into an yeah. infrastructure, yeah, you might you as well try and, it. like, find as many avenues yeah. as you can. And we do do weddings and stuff like that, too. Oh, you do we, weddings? We have since the very beginning. Like, do you mean, like, centerpieces and stuff? Or, uh, or no, like, like, the actual ceremonies. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so we have a uh, wedding booked in two weeks from now, and then we have three in September. So we're pretty busy with, like, events and birthday parties and things like that, and wow. baby showers, yeah. and, like use this building as much as we can. Yeah. So, oh, you oh, do them in here, you mean? Yeah. Yes. Oh, and outside, oh, they do weddings in the greenhouse. Yeah, that would be and, beautiful. And outside, either or. Oh, Absolutely that's super beautiful. cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, you guys got to check this place out because uh, they even do like bouquets. Uh, they fill bouquets in here every now and then. Um, they got like pots and planters and uh, fertilizers over here. Super cool. But she's also super busy, so she's got to go. But um, this isn't going to be the last you see of Christy and I. Um, we're going to be doing podcasts together. Um, we're gonna be doing YouTube videos together. Um, look forward to it, you guys. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link to all their social media handles in the comments below. Um, so take a look down there right now. Click on the stuff. Give them a like. Give them a follow. Do whatever you gotta do uh, to follow these guys because they're pretty cool. See you later, you guys. Thanks for inviting us out to your place. Thanks for having us. Uh, it was a real pleasure uh, seeing your place. Um, we got one or maybe two more stops if we're lucky. Um, but uh, I hope they loaded up at your place. Sorry I didn't buy anything. I got caught away chatting with you. But um, really nice meeting you. See ya. All right, so we uh, we finished up at, at um, Christy's greenhouse, and then we went and had uh, some lunch at a food trailer that was out by a campground. <coughs> and then on the way out to Christy's, we, we saw we drove by a greenhouse that said Flower Frenzy, and I hadn't I didn't find them on Google or anything. <coughs> when I was planning the trip, I couldn't find them anywhere. So we all voted. We decided to uh, detour a little bit. So we we detour, backtracked about uh, like eight eight minutes. We came in here, and uh, this is the place. She's got a nice little dugout in there. Got, got some planters hanging around, and then this is the greenhouse here. And uh, I'll show you. And here's the lineup. There's everybody from the bus. Everyone's all loading up. <laughs> Everyone's all loading up on plants, bringing them onto the bus. But um, let's go take a look inside. Pretty cool, hey? So everyone's uh, everyone's loading up. It's cash only, so we're all like scrounging for cash and like, can I borrow five bucks? Can I borrow five bucks? But um, but yeah, the, and everyone's loading up, and they got their like this is uh, just outside of High Prairie, and like all of their cucumbers and everything's two bucks instead of like four bucks in little two and a half inch containers. So pretty cool. It's hotter than the hades of hell in here, though. It is so freaking hot because um, they don't have their wall rolled up. So it's just like it's just trapping heat in here, um, and then just have one little spot at the back where it's open. Um, so, but she does have that exhaust fan up there, so I guess that's good, but, um, but her plants look good. Um, I think that she seeded this stuff. I think this is all seeded. I think she seeded all this herself. A few of these things in the middle here, these are all ordered in market ready, but that's okay. There's no shame in that game. Everyone's got to do it. Everyone has to order in market ready stuff. Um, her baskets look beautiful. Very nice stuff. So that's pretty cool. So we, uh, we came, we saw, we're all checking out, and uh, and then we're on our way to Fern's greenhouse. So I'm really happy that we managed to squeeze a fifth greenhouse into the stop. Um, and check it out, they all, they also have Hoyas here. Um, people in Grand Prairie, those wouldn't be sitting there if they were in Grand Prairie. They'd be out because everyone wants Hoyas right now. Very popular. So uh, anyway, if you guys are around the area, swing by here. Flower Frenzy. Alright, after a quick little nap on the way here, we've finally made it to Fern's Greenhouse and uh, we already have been in and been out and shopped and did the whole thing and I uh, already bought a few things but I've realized after I got out that I forgot to film everything and anything so uh, let's 
Let's go in there and take a look. As soon as you come to the front door, you're greeted with all these house plants. There's succulents and cactus and uh, piss off plant and then some tropicals. And uh, it's already been picked through because, um, well, we've already been the size of this road. Um, but really nice place. It's actually really big. Like, um, so back here, there's like a, there's like a side greenhouse. Then back here, there's a side greenhouse. And back there, there's a side greenhouse. And then in here, look at this beautiful basket. Um, and shout out to Allison from Corn's Greenhouse. Um, she's a new owner of the place. They bought it, bought it this year. And, um, and so they've taken over. But back here in this one, um, on either side, there's a door here and a door here. And they shoot back and that's, that's full of trees and shrubs. And then off of that one, there's three more greenhouses that offshoot to the side. So um, this place is massive. Um, they also do like, they deal in water plants. We got water plants in here, nice little water fountain. Um, very nice stuff, like lots of really full, um, lots, a lot of really full hanging baskets. Uh, that's, those are monsters, aren't they? Um, so some very nice stuff. Pretty cool. Um, but anyway, we're uh, we're on our way out. We've loaded up, and uh, and we got our popsicles, so we're on our way. And that was the last stop of the last stop of the tour. Thanks for having us, Allison. That was awesome. Uh, it was really nice to meet you. Um, we've talked on the phone a few times, so uh, again, I'll put all of her information down in the description below. And so, if you guys want to find them, uh, find them on Instagram or find them. Did you forget Can something? Get ice cream? Yeah, I think okay. so. <laughs> so, if you want to find them on, uh, if you want to find them on Instagram or Facebook, I'll find all of their handles and put them down below. And you can guys, you can check these guys out too. Really nice place. And uh, that's the last stop. So let's hit the road. Well, so that was awesome. We wrapped up the greenhouse tour. Uh, we hit a total of five greenhouses. One of them was ours, so a total of four. Uh, I guess if you don't include ours, um, but it was a blast. There was a lot of uh, a lot of like plant fanatics um, at the greenhouse uh, or on the bus, I should say. A lot of plant buying, uh, and all the greenhouses set us up with discounts too, which was super cool. Like um, everywhere I went, and what's cool is that they didn't have to do that. There was no pressure on them to offer a discount to us at all. Um, but they went out of their way to do that. Also, like, almost everybody had cookies or coffee or drinks or something for us in addition to the discounts. Very welcoming people. Um, yeah. It was a lot of fun. Uh, worth it just to meet everybody that we got to meet. So, uh, but it feels good to be back home. Uh, the girls handled the place by themselves spectacularly. Um, hats off to all three of them that ran the place today. Three of them was not enough. Uh, and they did it anyway, and they manned through it, so big ups to all the girls. Um, and especially Jamie, she wore the weight of the greenhouse on her shoulder today. And uh, she did it with a smile, and she was great. So we appreciate them. We really, really, really do um, so much. So they dealt with plants. They sold plants. They watered. They dealt with customers. There was even a glitch on our point of sale system, and they sorted that out, which is cool. Um, and then to top it all off, I got a new plant delivery while we were gone. Uh, I wished, I was hoping so bad that it would get here in time for the, or like in time for when the bus tour was at our greenhouse, but unfortunately it arrived after the fact. Um, but check this out. Look what I got again. More African walking spears. So that's pretty cool. I also got these Sansevierias here. I don't know what to do with them. I don't know if I should like set them aside and keep them so that we can uh, like prop grow them and propagate them and separate them and continuously have them. Because uh, I mean, if I have like, if I have one, two, three, four, um, you know, like I could bring all those to the back, put them into one big pot together and then just let them grow and separate. That way we have a continuous supply of that plant. Um, that way I don't have to rely on it showing up on availability lists. Um, I actually have a supply of my own, which would be cool. But I also have these little guys. I got these little guys too. Um, same plant. Uh, same plant, but cute little guys. And so if I wanted to, um, maybe I'll keep these guys and put them all together into a pot. And then uh, we can start separating that way. Um, either way, I'm stoked to have them. I love Sansevierias. Um, as you can tell, I got them everywhere. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching our YouTube channel. Um, there has been massive growth on this channel 
which I can't even explain and I don't understand. Um, so to whoever you guys are that are subscribing and watching our videos, thank you so much. Uh, we were nervous about starting a YouTube channel and uh, I don't know, like you guys are subscribing and watching and leaving comments and all that stuff, and which is crazy. We appreciate you guys. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, I think that like, I didn't upload anything for three weeks during the super, super busy crunch time of the greenhouse. Um, and we continuously got like 10 new subscribers, 12 new subscribers every day uh, through that lull uh, while, while I wasn't posting anything at all. Um, and now we've got like 360 or 370 subscribers. So that means like we're almost at 400, which is just mind boggling. Uh, I hate to sound like one of those guys who are like, oh my God, like 400 subscribers, thank you so much. But that uh, to us who don't, we have no idea what we're doing. Uh, that's super cool, and we appreciate you guys. So, if you're new here, uh, if you enjoyed what you watched today, I always try and do new creative things like that. So, uh, subscribe to the channel uh, if you want to watch more of that. And if you liked the video, give it a big fat thumbs up. Uh, and if you didn't like the video, like even if you just thought that you liked another greenhouse that we saw today, give it a big fat thumbs up or leave a comment down below uh, and give them some support. And uh, big ups to them for welcoming us into their greenhouse on a busy weekend. So, uh, we'll see you guys later.